Inter to Enzo Agada. If you will it, it is no fairy tale. Those are the words at the beginning of the utopian novel Altnuland by the journalist and Austro-Hungarian political activist Theodor Herzl. He willed his plan into action 120 years ago in this very spot in central Israel when he had an unofficial meeting with the German Kaiser Wilhelm II, marked by these statues right behind us here. 120 years ago, that chance meeting willed into action Herzl's plan for his Zionist state, a rebirth of Jewish life in the historic land of Israel. And it's celebrated throughout the country today. This event, which is an amazing opportunity for us, exactly 120 years after he came here for just one visit, the only one, one visit for him in his, the, the land of his dreams. Herzl came strong from this visit. In his vision, Jerusalem, the old Jerusalem, the dirty Jerusalem, he saw the potential of the amazing Jerusalem was going to be uh, the capital of the world, not just, uh, not just uh, for the Jews in Israel. So we walk from place to place. We went in Tel Aviv, Jaffa, you saw us dancing, and now we are in Mikve Israel, and then we go to the Moshavot, and then Jerusalem, and like in his footsteps to see what he had, what, what, what he had experienced, and from that we're going to learn uh, how to, to get to his eyes. Zionist dream is always alive, and uh, that there's always uh, much to do to make this country, to make this world a better place for, uh, for Jews and for uh, all mankind. As a journalist, Herzl knew the value of public relations, and the image from that meeting with the German Kaiser was enough to show the world of the viability of Herzl's Zionist vision. And that novel, Alt New Land, was translated into Hebrew and given the title of Tel Aviv, the same title later given to the first Hebrew city in the land of Israel, the city right behind us here today. Im Tertzu, Enzo Agada. If you will it, it is no fairy tale. For I-24 News, Mike Wagenheim, Mikveh Israel.